That seems to be the, the party strategy for dealing with well-armed humanoid uh, or monstrous humanoid enemies is for Carrie to give them the color spray treatment. It certainly works. Saving. Hmm. Going around with this boulder. Terrain getting rocky at this point. Considering all this traveling we're doing, I'm sure Minsk is appreciating this Ankeg plate. It's much lighter than normal plate, and it doesn't rust. Very handy. Ooh. Who is this? Dryad of the Cloud Peaks, Aldo, and Crumb. Please, kind spirits, a wondrous ancient oak is in peril. It is about to be attacked by two who would defile the majesty of nature. They have avoided my charms and must be stopped before irreparable harm is done. Will you heed my plea? Carrot becoming quite indignant at this, considering uh, he's very much an admirer of nature, even if he isn't the most uh, worldly or adept at it, saying... Only the basest villains would take advantage of a gentle forest spirit. Lead on, and I will deal with them. I thank you, for although they seem dim of wit, they could still do much damage this way. There, they are just ahead. I implore you, do what you must to make them leave. Alright. You point. Sorry, the ruffians. Uh, actually, no, Carrot's gonna try to do this himself. I wouldn't dream talk him out of it. Okay, he is obviously not the one to talk to. Get Actually, it would be the honorable thing to oh, put us in between <laughs> him and the dryad. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but I'll not have you sneaking about behind us while we work. We think there's treasure in this tree, and if you want to get up and help, do it. Otherwise, me and Crumb will do something, uh, well, something really nasty. Ain't that right, Crumb? All right, Carrot trying to make an appeal, peaceful appeal, saying, You don't really want to do this, do you? Just think of how beautiful this tree is. It's truly a wonder of nature. Well, if you're not going to help, I'm not going to let you sit and watch us do it. You are probably going to rob us when we're done, weren't you? Me and Crumb don't cotton to bandits one bit, do we, Crumb? What? <laughs> okay. Trying to solve the situation peacefully did not work. Two battle. Okay, using uh, magic missile. Yep. Oh. Carried have any other spells that might be useful? No, not really. Using this thing. Alright, magic missile there. Magic missile here. Down they go. Oh, yes. <laughs> time here picking an odd time to chat. For a scholar of history, the bitterest thing is to see the errors of old repeated. Look now at the commoners, listen to their words, calling for war with Almon. Carrot saying, Amon threatens their livelihoods, Dinah here, by poisoning the iron ore. Well, he doesn't know that. War is never an error? No. Carrot saying, Thou art right. The crowd's anger is fearsome and merciless. A just and strong ruler is needed during times like this, and the Duke's power is wavering. Alas, it is likely that we will soon see war. What I am afraid of is that there is indeed a strong hand in this.
but it acts to disturb the peace? Why? I cannot say for sure, Carrot, but these events do not seem accidental. There are men who art like ticks. They grow fatter on blood. Thoughtfully, she says, I hope, I hope that thou art not one of them. Carrot trying to use his sense of humor to flirt with her, saying, You mean vampires? I'm definitely not a vampire, my beauty. Otherwise, I would not be chatting with you, but nuzzling your pretty neck. By the three, thou art a brat who knows not when just is proper and when it is not. <laughs> I wish my ear. Trying to hear chastising Carrot. <laughs> Minsk is nothing if not the most loyal companion. Many a time I was grateful for him traveling with me. Heard saying I appreciate Minsk's company myself, and yours. Truly, I consider both of you my friends now, even if I have not known you for very long. That is my feeling towards thee as well. On the road, friendships are quickly forged and cemented firmly by the challenges comrades face together. Yes. So we're talking to the dryad at long last. Just as I thought. Thanks be to you. Here is a potion that might help you on your journeys. A party gaining a reputation point, a potion, and some experience points. Dryad, I guess, not that upset that we had to kill these men in order to uh, defend her tree. Got another armor, club, gold, shield. That's enough. Well, actually, that should go towards Khalid. <laughs> the ever bleeding Khalid. Okay. One of them had a magic girdle. Oh, yes. Yeah, Kara does have one identify spell prepared, but what's, which one does he want to identify? I guess the Bracers. Bracers of Archery, the Dale's Protector. During a dangerous meeting with a rival ruler, the king of the Great Dale requested the protection of his best archers in addition to his usual guard. The archers, each equipped with an enchanted bow and bracers, hid within range of the gathering. As predicted, enemy troops attempted to seize the king and force their will over his rule, but none had anticipated the amazing accuracy and lethality of the hidden archers. The king was able to escape unharmed. In fact, none of the ambush members even lived to approach him. It gives a plus two to Thaco bonus for missile weapons only. Well, who's using missile weapons and general archery all the time? I think that would be Imowen. So this would be well suited for her, I think. Indeed. Okay, very good. Saving. And continuing on. River to the west. Oh, to hear it is remembered. Right, boo. Let's talk more fight. Oop. Ah, oh, more knolls. They just never stop, do they? Alright, uh, going to pause the game for a moment. I seem to be experiencing some uh, slowdown again, so we'll be right back. And we're back. Going to defeat these gnolls that are ambushing us. Color spray. Oh. I have a two this time. Oh. Two is better than none. Apparently the pausing, stopping recording did not eliminate the slowdown. After this fight we will save and I will try to fix what's going on. That's odd. Okay, looting the monsters quickly.
Saving. You point. All right. Punch. And uh, it was fun. I'm gonna take a short break for the time being, but we'll be back soon with the adventures of Care of the Ray. Thanks for watching. See you soon.